What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the important messages for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Virgo. What's up Virgie Birds? Thank you so much for being here. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see what's going on with you. I feel like um, you made it out just in time or something like that or you realized something just in time. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I've been told. Courthouse. If you're dealing with a court situation, it will go in your favor. Okay, let's see. Or you're not going to have to deal with anything crazy. Virgo. I feel like you guys are giving someone a gift. I don't know why. I usually don't get that from the gift card, but you could be gifted. Oh, no, it's, it's your season, isn't it? Happy birthday, Virgo. Oh, my God. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. You have the occupation in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's see what this is. Occupation in reverse, unexpected income, and high honor. Ooh! And bad girls. All right, so this is not for all of y'all, clearly, but take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, what you don't see coming is that some of you guys might leave a job here to get something way better, way, way better. Bruh, high honor and unexpected income. This is gonna come out of nowhere. Some of you guys might like get fired or have to or be forced to leave a job or something like that. Or you leave a job um because there's something unexpected that pulls up and it just like it it gives it's more you have a higher status there and you get more money, bruh. This and somebody could be ooh child, ooh. <laughs> I had to blow this. this is a side message there could be an older person in your life sex does not matter but it could be a, a mature woman it could be like a mom or grandma trying to um talk to you about some marriage here okay somebody doesn't have the best intentions for you so be careful there or a commitment that you're in all right so this is um the first card you have is gift so it could be a gift that someone's giving to you i really got that you were giving a gift to someone like that was the first thing i got but let's see, what is this gift? You could definitely be receiving a gift. You have the Five of Cups. Why? You feel guilty accepting this or giving this? You feel like you don't deserve it. I feel like you're still, what, Virgo, what the freak is this? You're trying to control it in some way. It might be that the gift that you're trying to give or that you're trying to get is not a hundred. Okay, hold on. Let me, let, let me, let me go with the first that you're trying to give someone a gift. Cause that's the first thing I got. If you're trying to give somebody a gift and, um, you're kind of sad because you're disappointed because maybe someone's not, um, Maybe you can't find the right gift or <sighs> this is just weird energy. You can't find the right gift or, you know, you're disappointed that something isn't working out the way you want to. Um, it's not, it's not over. It's like, it's not just because you got a no from somewhere doesn't mean it's going to be a no forever. Like go back, release control. You might have to go back and ask again or go back and look again. Now, if you're getting a gift here, you might feel guilty here of accepting this because I feel like you are going through a situation. This is kind of like, it's, it's, it is pretty hard for you to accept stuff, Virgo, because you're always the one that's giving. So if somebody's giving you something, you kind of feel like, uh, I don't even know if I should accept this. Like I'm going through, like, I don't even, it's, I'm getting like, I don't deserve this legit there's a lot of fear in accepting this here but you could you should accept it or you should give it that was the that was that was an interesting message okay the next card you have is change in reverse so something is not changing that needs to change birds what is this change here you have the justice in reverse can we dealing with a libra someone's playing games Someone's purposely not changing this. Two of Swords, the Sun in Reverse, and the Magician. 
stalemates. Yeah, someone's be being a stalemate. Someone's purposely not choosing what to do here, and it's making you unhappy, and they're asking you to manifest something else. Yep, there's a new beginning the universe is about to bring to you. And um, this is going to show up, and however it shows up, it's going to be different in your life. But there's going to be something that's going to come in here, a new beginning that is going to um, show you that whatever needs to change is not changing is actually not growing and, and and you have to do something about it because i feel like for a while you were just like okay whatever like i'm just gonna stay here and wait like it you know I'll, uh, da, 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 da. but it's like the universe doesn't want you to so they're gonna bring someone or something to you to kind of give you that push to get the freak up 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 on out of there because wherever you're at doesn't match your morals and your values could be a taurus and i feel like you're trying to figure out what to do you're trying to keep the peace but you got to get out of there you got to get out of the out of the energy next card you have is mature man in reverse okay there's somebody here sex does not matter but could be a man but there's somebody here who is upset with you it's an older person what is this mature man in reverse they could have a white car or you could guess say yo i don't know strength card in reverse could be a leo or oh, this person this person irks you, bro, down to the core of all the cores. This person is annoying, bro. Page of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. This is somebody like, this is like, no, no, I always compare everything to work because it's the easiest thing to compare it to. This is like, this person is like, seeing that you literally you're literally dying okay let me say dying that's that's crazy it's like you're at, you're at work and you're like coughing right you're coughing and you're not feeling good and you're just like oh i'm achy uh and then here comes this person like throws a whole bunch of papers like do that do that right now like that's what i'm getting and this person is like purposely doing this with the page of sword it's like they've been watching you and they're like, okay, well, I'm going to get Virgo when Virgo is at, at, at their worst. Like, uh, this could be a lover with the two of cups, the queen of wands. It could definitely be a, a lover, bro. The universe is telling you to, to remove yourself from this person. You could have went back to this person, but this person is, yo, this person is like being a manipulator is kind of what I'm getting. They're really mad that you guys broke up or that you guys separated or this person is upset that you're no longer, you know, dealing with the bullshit. Or that you're no longer with the shits. <laughs> you know, like you could have put your foot down and people are mad. So now they're like, okay, cool. Now when Virgo's going through shit, we're going to make Virgo even go even through more shit. So be careful, okay? You have toil and labor here. So you're working hard towards something. You like, you have a cat? <laughs> You could have a cat. And uh, it, you could be working with you and two other people. Or it could be about you and two other people. What is this toy and labor? For the Virgos, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. The universe is telling you don't stress. Don't overwork yourself either. Queen of Swords in reverse, Ten of Coins, and the King of Cups in reverse. These are all in reverse. You're putting work into something that you're not getting. You're not getting the results that you want. <sighs> Virgo. Listen, yeah, one of my favorite signs. I know we're not supposed to have favorites. I, 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 it's not even a favor. That's like, I don't hate any sign. Like a, a, that's not a thing for me. I don't hate anyone. I don't not like any sign. But there are signs that I admire. A lot and you're one of them so i'm gonna need you to stop it right now okay because whatever the, whatever you're doing bro let me tell you something whatever you're doing oh, Virgo, this is like this is like you walking down it's like you're trying to feed a vicious dog you're trying to feed a dog that's like barking and it's drooling and it's huge and it's like very clear that the dog does not want you near it and you're like no wait no come on eat, eat this bread eat this piece of chicken and the dog is like wah, 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 wah. like and you're just like no it's okay i know you're upset right now but just eat it like 
No, Virgo, you got to walk away. Walk away from the damn dog. You're holding on to it. You know you want to walk away. I feel like emotionally, you have already left the damn building. <laughs> like, you, emotionally, you're not there anymore. And now it's time for the physical. And I feel like if you guys are in that position and you're like kind of worried, like, now what am I going to do? The universe is about to bring you something. Don't worry. Just make sure that you don't keep feed. Don't feed the dog. Don't go back to trying to feed the dog. Don't you know, walk past the dog and be like, oh, you know what? You look like, you look like you, you look like you're a little calm today. Let me go over there. No, stick. You could have Libra in your chart. Stick to the plan. Do not feed the damn dog and wait for another dog to come. The temperance. Yeah, balance will come in. Like, I feel like something good, is, something better is coming, but you have to stop feeding. Whoopsies. You got to stop feeding the dog. All right. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. The Ten of Wands. Things this is um I just saw this here. You're gonna find out this it's a lot, it's you're actually doing it's actually causing a lot more burdens and challenges for you. What is this? Okay, the next card you have is false person here. There's somebody lurking in the background watching you who is a mother effer. I'm gonna just say it like that. What is this false person? Oh, this card always gets me aggy. Their initials could be C M N S. Okay, what is this? The Ten of Cups in reverse. Could be somebody in your family. <sighs> somebody in your family is low key hating. Or somebody who you have kids with. Okay. Um, this person is very unhappy in their life. Whoever this person is. Like, this is a this is a this is a this is a miserable freaking Maria. A miserable Michael. Like, I don't even know what else to say about that. King of Wands. Some of this person, some of some of y'all, this person could like you, could find you attractive, and are treating you like like what is it? What are we in high school? Are we in high school? Let me stop. You have the hermit. Could be a Virgo, another Virgo. Um, yeah, this person. Um, I feel like you release this person. The devil is in reverse. I feel like you release this person, and I feel like um. You did it in a way where they weren't expecting it. And it's like you caught this person off guard. And it created a tower moment in their life. Like you were moving yourself from this person because they were definitely negative. And yeah, they they upset now. They tight. Okay, so what, what about this person? They've decided on you. What, what about this person? They're coming back. Is that the ring? And um, what are they gonna do? What what are they gonna do? Freaking person. The world, the empress, and the hierophant. Whoo! Could be a Taurus. Whoo! A bad out there. You definitely separated from this person. This person is about to come here. They just closed out a chapter in their life and they're coming back. We are Mercury retrograde. And they're gonna hit you with all the works, Virgo. They're gonna be like, listen. I love you. Let's get married. Let's move in together. Let's make some solid commitment. Like this person is coming in on some a lot harder than, than they've ever came before. But this person is not cannot emotionally satisfy you. It's like emotionally, it's just not there. They're gonna they might hit you up through online here. Yeah, this person's gonna be mad because you're not gonna know what to do. I don't feel like you're gonna give this person an answer. I don't feel like you should even accept this person in because they're they're a false person. They're not they don't have good intentions for you. So I will be careful, okay? All right, Virgos, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.